Good evening and um, hello everybody and here we are on the next day of our movement through March Madness. I'm Laura Serrant and I am an inclusive leadership specialist and a coach. Right, well, as we move through today, we reach the letter Q on our meander through March, through musings, thoughts and mm, questioning about the world around us as leaders, as business owners and as human beings. And interesting, I should say, questioning, because today we reach the letter Q. And Q is for questioning. Now, when we look up the definition of questioning, it really is about probing and inquiring. It's about showing an interest in learning new things and showing an interest about the things around us. Questioning itself has a purpose, and the purpose is to give us information or experiences to develop our answers or insight, and I suppose to make decisions too about what we might do. But there's something that I was thinking about in that on one hand, we talk about questioning, and we see that as a positive thing, very much around exploration, around expanding our minds or our experiences. But on the other hand, we also talk about a questioning attitude. And that's kind of less positive. A questioning attitude implies that the person is skeptical, that actually they don't take whatever is in front of them for truth or for itself, but actually express some doubt or disbelief in what's being shared with them. A questioning attitude is seen as a negative thing. And as we grow up, and certainly with younger children or even with people who are less experienced in ourselves, we can sometimes think a questioning attitude is a sign of them challenging our leadership, challenging our knowledge, or challenging our understanding of something. Not accepting everything you are told is kind of what's required to be questioning. But on the one hand, it can be seen as a scientific thing, something that's systematic, that's purposeful, that's actually to push our boundaries, to help us explore and help us expose ourselves to much more interesting or challenging scenarios. But a questioning attitude can also be a reason given for stopping somebody's curiosity, for preventing their development, or actually seeing them as a troublemaker. In truth, what I've learned in my time is that there is a science and an art in questioning. The science is about being clear about the purpose of the questioning, it having some kind of intentional direction, the questioning that allows us to critically think about not only what others, other people say, but actually encourages us to critically reflect on our own thoughts and our own feelings. The art of questioning is how we question. And how we question sometimes determines even much more than our ability to question well. It determines whether or not we actually have a chance of getting the answer that we wish or exploring the subjects that we want. If we apply the science and art of questioning well, it, open up, it opens up spaces for discussion the opportunity to learn something new, and even the chance for other people who may not have shared their own wisdom to feel that we are open to their, their attitudes, open to their thoughts, and perhaps even gives us a chance to actually discover something that we would never have known had we not created that space. But questioning done wrong or questioning which actually has a negative e effect on discussion actually closes down conversation. It actually challenges us sometimes subtly 
to dare to ask a question as leaders, as business owners, and as human beings, we can choose how we apply the art of questioning. We can choose whether we encourage that question in other people or whether we prefer to remain closed within our own thoughts and our own ideas. Einstein talks about the importance of questioning. He says that we should learn from yesterday live for today or live in today and hope for tomorrow. But all those things depend on our questioning, our critical engagement with the experiences, the thoughts and the facts that have been shared with us in the past, that are shared with us in the present and that may affect our thinking in the future. Questioning is both an internal and an external activity. Children question the world around them. They question their relationship to the things that happen and they reflect and think about almost innately about how and where they fit. As adults, as we grow older and as we develop, one of the sad parts of human development is when we stop questioning when we actually accept everything as truth, where we don't think about how we are part of not only the solution, but sometimes the problem. As leaders, as business owners, we fool ourselves if we believe that actually not only do we know all the questions, but we also know all of the answers. As Indira Gandhi says, the power of the human condition is our ability to question our own selves and our own thinking as much as we question everything around us. To truly be trailblazers, to truly act in our lioness and our lion capacity, we must hold on to the ability and the responsibility to question to question internally and externally, to develop the science and art of our questioning, because that is what will drive us forward. And just maybe, just maybe, we can impact the world. I'll see you tomorrow.